we have to understand that we have the free will. We can, like tomorrow, we can go and do this uh, remedy, you know, people or whatever. We don't have to ask which nakshatra, uh, yes. where, where uh, my moon is, you know, where my sun is. Now, wherever you have your sun, moon, and ascendant, ascendant, Lord, those remedies you do properly, you do specifically, you do extensively. Yes. Acha se ekdam, very properly you do. Very properly means follow the uh, procedures totally. But don't just keep thinking, you know, don't, don't just uh, narrow yourself into nine planets. That's not your world. Yes. Yes, your world is not your nine planets. Your nine planets don't dictate, you don't have to dictate every life, every instance according to your nine planets. Yeah. Like we said, the last thing I'll tell you is, uh, today I posted a photo uh, on uh, this uh, Bhishma Pitama, you know, and yes, yes, yes. in the wheel and, you know, rushing towards Bhishma. So, in that I saw that uh, there was one person who uh, mailed me recently, in fact today only, so he told me in the mail that, sir, actually I am very fearful, you know, after seeing this photo. Oh. I said, why, what happened? <laughs> In fact, it's so funny to hear this because the person to whom Krishna was running with the wheel, he tells when he's about to die, when Vishwakarma is about to die, he says, you know, I still remember that scene. <laughs> and I was the happiest person in the entire universe that Krishna has broken his promise just for me. I mean, protect Arjun, but just for him. Just to show how great Bhishma is that he is the only one who can make God break his promise. Although nobody can, but that's how Krishna arranged. How can, mm -hmm. Then I asked him, how can this make you fearful? So then he told me that he read in some book or some, you, some Facebook article, okay, that Bhishma Pitama was born in a nakshatra, particular nakshatra. And something Anishtra. similar happened, and he also has that nakshatra in some dustana or something like that. Okay. Okay, okay, oh, okay. He's okay. fearful. Oh my God, what will happen? My life will also be like Bhishma. I will also not get married. I will also be fighting on Adharma and all this. I'm like, come on. <laughs> Do you think that your your whole life, you know, which is that nakshatra? Do you think that I mean? It's so bad that, you know, your one nakshatra will define mm -hmm. your entire life. Even astrologically, do you think like that? You know, there, at least you will have, you know, seven, eight nakshatras. You may have 10 nakshatras, nine planets in different nakshatras and your lagna nakshatra. So we, we should not become so much caught up in, you know, this planet, you know, that remedy. Oh, I have Pushya, I will only go to people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, oh, I, I, you know, yeah. I will only go there. No, go to all the trees. Go and do remedies. You know, you always have every nakshatra in your chart. You may not have planets there. Yeah. The nakshatras are always there, and in everyday transit, they are getting activated. Yes. You don't yes. have to become so narrow-minded that you only do remedies for those planets. Okay. And some people say, "Oh, I have to get married. Which remedy I should do?" So do do the remedies for trines, do for seventh house, do for second house. Yes. So depends on what you want. So in general, you can do all remedies. And for specific, you can do these remedies specifically yes. in more detail, in more depth. So that's the thing I which I wanted to say. Don't just don't limit your life as unlimited possibilities. Don't waste and limit your life by just nine things. Nine mm -hmm. nakshatras. So I have nine, ten nakshatras. I will only do that. So now what will happen? Every video we do of nakshatras, you know, then you will keep waiting. Oh, my nakshatra is there or not? Oh, it's not there. This video is not for me. This is a useless video. This is a stupid video. I will not watch it because my moon nakshatra is not there. It's not mentioned. Yeah. If you continue doing that, then... <laughs> no, I, I, I must say, uh, Babaji ji, you have mentioned a very brilliant uh, point. And let me also mention a few points while you were uh, saying this. Other than the nine nakshatras, there are more nakshatras in our energy, in our soul. What are those? The nakshatras behind our name. What about those nakshatras? So there are not nine nakshatras. In fact, ten, I mean, including the... Logic. Yes, 
Yeah. All are in there are, Yeah, there are not 10 nakshatras. Maybe your name has more nakshatras other than the 10 nakshatras. What about that? What about the nakshatras and the varga charts? I'm doing a separate uh, seminar in a coming future on that. Because a lot of people are messaging me, do we see the planets in the D1? What about the nakshatras in the D9? Yes, they are equally important. You have to look at the planet and the nakshatras, of, especially of the Mahadasha, where it is going in the D10, if you're suffering in your career. So you have to focus on that nakshatra. And here also we are giving you the reference. Look, if you are going through Atma Karka Mahadasha, which is your Mahadasha also and Atma Karka also, and it is sitting in the Dushtana, which happens to be the moon, you have to do a serve the particular nakshatras. I think this is my two cents, what I can interpret in my research or what I have learned. This is one of the biggest thing we can do to the mother nature and we can do it for our own chart because we are good. Just like you say, our chart is happening, uh, something bad. We are possible, only our charts are bad. <laughs> and what about the Saturn? Just like I have mentioned. So oh, there are enter Uttarasad after some days. Yes. So you so I remember clearly Dr. Pai mentioned not even the natal Saturn, wherever the Saturn is transiting right now. So right now it is transiting the Purva Chada. So that is very important as well. One of the biggest remedies. Saturn has stationed now and is yes. going to go direct yeah. on it. So That's imagine if you're running through a sadasati of uh, Saturn. So this is one of the biggest remedy one can do. And just like you have mentioned, you do not stick with the 9 or 10 nakshatras. Just like I have mentioned in the earlier slide, we do the puja of Navgraha. Some of us still do. Imagine if we do the same thing for the 27 nakshatras. I know a single person uh, very closely. He has a small, uh, what you call a nursery or a, a, a kyari, we say it in Hindi. She, she has all the 27 nakshatras. Wow. She's not a millionaire or a billionaire, but the amount of spiritual knowledge or the amount of uh, eternal bliss she has. I wish one day she could come on my channel and say the kind of energy she has uh, attained by doing simply by uh, planting um, or serving all these 27 nakshatras. So imagine, sir. So it is directly. Another activation technique or learning we are doing here. Directly you are connecting with the 27 deities. Yes. You are making them one-on-one -on -one connection with them. So sir. That is why I, why I always tell people whenever you are talking of remedies, either it is mantras or trees or whatever, don't stick to your planets. Otherwise, you will learn astrology for 30 years mm -hmm. and at the end of 30 years, you will be like, why did I just waste my time? That That's what will happen to you. Because you didn't catch the essence, you see. You thought it is like a, it's like a, some software, you know, you enter this input, output, input, output, input. It's not like that. You have to tune yourself with the energy. You have to realize that, you know, th these are energies not only working in your life, it's working in nature. It's working everywhere, you know, all the places. So once you harmonize yourself, you improve your lifestyle, only then you will, uh, you can say that I have understood what these principles are. Otherwise, you can go on doing all this for the next hundred years. But as you said, you know, the, the intent is very important. So if your intent is that I will only extract some, you know, mundane materialistic pleasure out of these remedies, then even if it works, it will not help you later in the long run. But if you do the remedy with an intent that, okay, I am doing a remedy for my uh, fifth house, for example. Suppose I want children. So then I am doing the remedy. I may get children. I may not get children. Okay. But let me understand that, you know, why I am not getting children as the lesson. Yes. Or maybe I would have done something wrong to somebody 
or some children in some life yes that the nature will show you see you did this this even if you did thousand lifetimes back you will get a realization maybe when one day you are talking to a child and he will tell you oh you you are like this you are like this so then you will know oh maybe the child does not like this in me maybe this something wrong with me maybe that's why you know i have not had this child birth or whatever i mean that that the universe will do that god will do that you don't have to worry but uh, please don't just do planet specific remedies you will even if you achieve the result you will still be unhappy that is my conclusion and just just do the remedies even another question they ask oh my 12th lord should i do remedy Eighth Lord, should I do remedy? Sixth Lord, should I do remedy? Yes, do the remedies. Whatever is there in your karma will get act, will will become lively. Yes. Yes. Sixth house, eighth house, twelfth house. Ultimately, these three represents our baggage, right? Yeah. Therefore, I think these three lords, wherever they are sitting, these three are the first nakshatras we should act. Yes. Because otherwise, we will not know only what is going, what what is that which is going wrong in our life. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, what what you are just learning, Jyotis, today, Venus transits Virgo, tomorrow somewhere else. Yes. But we will not know now because they show our pending karma, right? The dusthanas, they they are the they are the houses of suffering. Yes. But how am I suffering? So, yes. please do those remedies. Don't fear. That you will lose money, you will lose reputation if you activate the twelfth house. It will not happen. Nothing of that sort will happen. Okay. And this is uh, one of the first remedies I give to my clients, especially I see the major planets or the moon or the sun or the ascendant lord going into the dushtanas. I always tell them, serve this particular plant if you can. Because this is one of the biggest remedies one can do if they are sitting in the dushtanas. Simple remedy. So uh, these are the credits uh, I'm going to give to all the sources I have taken the information from. So again, I bow down to all of them, including the, uh, David Frawley Saab, who is very well-known legend. So, lastly, I want to thank my favorite <laughs> Baba Ji Ji and, um, for this great opportunity. And I would like to request each and every soul who is going to listen or going to give their precious time to this presentation, if they can, uh, all, uh, all the way to the end. That Mary Farmash hai un sab logo se, ki even if they can plant one tree in one year or on their birthday, that would be the biggest service to the Mother Nature we can do. I request Kartahun Sabse, Apke Madhyam Se. I request all of them through you as the medium, as exotic astrology, as the medium, that plant trees, more and more trees. Or if you cannot plant more and more trees, at least plant one tree. Or at least the biggest gift you can go give or you can do. Just like my teacher says, how many of us give trees as a birthday gift or as a gift to others? How beautiful. Like it really touched my heart a year back when I saw uh, saying this to all his viewers. And I was very uh, disheartened to see only that video on his channel was the less viewed video. All of his video was 30,000, 40,000, this thousand, that thousand. But none of, most of the people were not interested into the Mother Nature part. And that's where I took the initiative. At least when I go to the uh, hell or heaven, wherever uh, uh, Lord Yama is going to take me, at least I'm going to say that uh, I did a very small uh, percentage or a small attempt or of whatever I did of my two cents to at least tell people that Mother Nature is very important. It is very important to connect with her. And if we cannot do more and more, uh, if we cannot plant more and more trees, at least we can do one a year. And imagine if one a year we do, all of us we do, 
it's a big, uh, big mathematical calculation that comes around. And start giving trees. The best gift you can do to exotic astrology or forget about exotic astrology or forget about me or to your own soul is to give Tulsi to your near and dear ones. So we have a lot of festivals, a lot of festivals in India. So next time you go to your see, uh, to see your parents, your cousins or this and that, take one plant with you and give it to them and serve Mother Nature and look the amount of energy, the positive energy you will get and th that family going to get from you. And just like I mentioned, the karmic biyaj, what you're going to give, what you're going to get from that is priceless. In fact, before you, before you run away, the last thing I will say regarding Tulsi, you are telling me. So, it is said that if, uh, like uh, when I stayed with a lot of spiritual people in Chennai from 2010 to 2015, so one day what happened? Uh, we we have a lot of Tulsi, you know, Tulsi plant. And one day, what happened was uh, one senior came and he saw that you are very soon going to have serious problems in this community. Oh. And he was not an astrologer or anybody like that. Oh, okay. And then we were like, uh, everything's fine, you know, everything's great. Life's good, LG. <laughs> <laughs> But why do you feel like that? Do you feel some negative vibration or people are not doing their spiritual practices in the ashram or something like that? He said no. Or do you think that, you know, or maybe God gave you some other hint or something like that? He said no, none of this. <laughs> and we were asking, asking, asking and he was not telling. And then after many days he told me, you have three Tulsi plants. And look, out of the three, one of them is dying. Mm. And that is an indication that God is not happy with your spiritual practices. And then we were like astonished. I mean, because we just, the leaves are there, but the, that awareness is not there. Yeah. Yeah. So we just go and come out to see the Namaskar. That's all. Yeah. Wow. He, was, he was very, very suddenly, that's the first thing he noticed. And after that, my God, so many problems came suddenly out of nowhere. There was no water in our building. We, we could not do, I mean, if you don't, can't take bath in the morning, what will you come and sit and do mantras in front of the DT? Water is not there. Can you believe it? these things happened? And then later on, we uh, rectified so many issues which were there in the ashram. And then finally, when the water started coming, and then this same senior came again after three months. Wow. And this time he said that now your center will flourish. Because wow. that all the three tulsis, you know, they were just expanding. It was like so big. From from 10 meter distance, it looks like a forest from 10 meters. So beautiful the, the leaves. And then I still remember, it was like I was in my four, uh, I was in my third year and it was the biggest ever, I mean, the biggest gathering, you know, it was like around, uh, there were uh, hundred of us were there. It was uh, a around hundred, I would say, 70 to 80 and including some other hundred. So 80 of us, you know, doing very high level, I mean, very dedicated spiritual practice. Of course, I was not, not doing, but I used to take inspiration from others. So that was the time and I always have those snapshots in my head and I don't want anything in life. Just such people, nothing else is required. Mm -hmm. So this you said Tulsi and anything else, it, these are barometers you come to know. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much. It was uh, indeed if you could just uh, close the screen share. Yeah. Look this, Baba Ji Ji, we were discussing about the numbers before recording. Mm. Add this number. Ah, the, I just, the recording is still going on. Can you just uh, uh, exit your screen share? Okay. Okay. 
So, as I said, I had seen many presentations in last 5-10 years on spiritual topics, on astrology, in YouTube, so many other places. But I don't know why today I am getting a feeling that <laughs> like uh, Krishna says, you know, na bhuto na bhavishyati. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I I don't know if of course I have never seen any presentation like this that is guaranteed but I can also guarantee that na bhuto na bhavishyati that maybe in future apart from you or your close associates we will never see such a presentation this one thousand percent guarantee I mean na bhuto na bhavishyati <laughs> again it is all the credit goes to my teachers, all the Pitris. Again, we see our Pitris in forms of the trees. That's what I keep saying. And we are in the Pitrapaksh. We are in the Shrads. So best remedy is coming out automatically when Rahu is transiting a Radra. Yes. You see how uh, amazing that is. So uh, I close Thank this. Thank you. Thank you very much to Bhaviji for... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, I cannot thank her enough because she has... I was. I can say I was just the face. She has done a very rigorous research and she has uh, helped me a lot with this presentation. And this is the 39... Yes, definitely. This is just, uh, I would say, the 10% of the 300 slides we have already made. Wow. So we are planning to do the full 27 nakshatras for each and every nakshatra we are going to mention tons of mythology, tons of remedies. So please I don't know when. Please send me your bank details and then I will send you my email. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, thank you so much. Thank you, thank uh, you sir. See you again very soon, alright? Yes sir, thank you, thank you.